here of the third period. Things up 2-1, the Orleans Arena. The 1-1 one one Sanitans against the 1-0 oh Las Vegas Wranglers. As Chad Pinker comes down the left side of the puck, sees it in the high spot to Vandermeer. He takes a shoulder, almost got a shot away. Power able to knock it down. And away comes O'Reilly down the right wing side, cuts in, plays over the left side, shot, save made by Gill. And he'll jump on top of the puck on the power shot as he let one go. He'll lift it up the right side, goes to the catch, catch avoids the hit, puts the puck down into the zone, asks one after it, he picks it up. But Brodeur takes him into the wall, they get jammed up there, Geich comes in, he's digging away at it, as is Bertram. Brodeur asks one in there as well, and the puck will slide up the wall, it comes to Wilson, he lets the shot go side of the net, Geich digging away, they're poking in, but putting the big mitt down, and holding on is Fallon. And a nice day to keep his composure there as the Kings were just mining away trying to get that puck in and underneath the great hockey school, but off the faceoff, quick shot off the faceoff win by McMurphy and a blocker save made by Fallon. Vegas able to move the puck up and out. Just the uh, young man wanted to go away from home, so he did so and went to the University of Vermont. Puck down in the zone for the Santa Cruz. The Mercy puts it in behind the dingo. He'll walk out in front. Let the shot go foul with the save. Big rebound, but he dives out on top of it. He jumps on and holds on. Oh, Vandermeer checks but loses the puck. Tries to get on it quickly, but Vandermeer is there to take it away. He does a blind backhanded pass that was intercepted by Bertram, but it was tipped away from him. Bertram hustles back onto the puck, drops it back to McMonagall. His shot ends up hitting Blair Riley, and the Kings are taking the loose puck and they're away down the right side and Geich and he gets taken hard into the wall by Fritz. McLeod will pick up the loose puck. He takes it in behind the net. McMonagall jams him up. But McLeod will kick it to himself. Back to the point. Ellington low hard shot goes wide. Wilson rims it around. Comes back over the left half wall. On it there is Asplund. Back to the point to Ellington. He has to bat down the rolling puck. So he plays it down low to Geich. Out in front to McLeod. His shot. Save me! As McLeod had a wonderful opportunity on a great play there by Geist. Good puck movement as this line continues to cause problems for Goche. Goche comes out to the right side of the net and the puck gets pushed into the corner. Goche hustles after it and gets jammed up. Dingle comes over to pick up the puck. He tries to get it back to Goche, but getting in the way of that was Goers and a wave come. The Wranglers into the zone coming safe and gets tipped away and hops back over in the neutral zone area. Dingle on it. He tries to go across the Goche, but intercepting. Out now for the Kings. Geich, Asplund, and McLeod are going to take stuck line here tonight. Puck comes in. No offside called on the play, but the Kings are able to collect the puck and they'll look to move it out. Oh, Asplund, it was a dangerous move as he. As Bertram chasing after me, cuts right out in front of Gill. But gets bailed out, and now he's able to flip the puck down the ice. Collecting his Bernhardt, gets dropped back, and skating away as Fritz. Fritz comes down the left wing side, back in. Bertram in to take the draw. He's got Bernhardt with him, along with Collins. And Vegas wins the draw, and they dump it in. Broder and Fritz. Out for Vegas on the back end. Puck comes through the neutral zone. Dingle after it. He tips it down in the left wing corner. Nick that McMurphy ends up coming up the left side. Goche is able to keep it in for a moment, but eventually Bertram is able to slap it out in the neutral zone. The Kings are going to look to move back in. Dingle flips it down deep into the right wing corner. Now Dingle and Bertram are having words. McMurphy comes in and he's going to pin the puck up against the wall. Goche is in. Bertram comes in now as well. And finally, Broder sees an opening and he comes and picks up the puck. He skates up now. He'll play it on the left side to Bernard. He crosses center. Takes a big bump there from Dingle. Puck goes in behind the net. Gill leaves it. Broder's the first one on and takes a bump from Goche. Tries to center up and goes off the side of the net. Ends up in the right half wall. Coming off his hut. He tries to spin around his up and he gets bumped. Now Goche just absolutely takes a feed out from under Bernhardt, and that's a tripping ball, folks, and that is going to put Vegas back on the power play. And 
negotiate, gives him a bump, and then just skating by him with Bernhardt, and he ends up going down. So Bush comes in one on two, lets the shot go, bounces off the Vegas Switzer. And the Vegas just not there in the neutral zone, and Martin's going to pick it up. He skates it in, drop pass for Henniger. He's just going to dump it deep down in. Martin down there fighting for the buck, playing around against five Wranglers. He's able to play it back to Asplund. Asplund will go all the way back into his own zone to Turk. And he's just going to fire it down in on bounds. So good job of Asplund kicks it away. 53 seconds remaining in the power play, and it finally gets pushed down into the King's zone. Gil will stop it. He drops it off. For Ellington, he tries to rip it around, can't get past Power at the right point. Power dumps it in down low. Gets into Bertram, back up to the right point to Power. He fires a shot, that doesn't make it through. Looks like Dill would have had the right pad out for it anyways. As it goes all the way down the edge, but quickly played up by Fallon, right into the zone. Pass from Bertram to the left side, one-timer by Power gets deflected wide. Goes down the right wing corner now, slips in the end of that. Wilson's there to collect. He has some trouble with the puck. He gets body off of it. Martin chases after him. He's able to play the backhand up to Dingle, and he's going to skate down the right side. He's got Henniger with him. Plays it to Henniger. Henniger and him crisscross into the slot. Henniger shot. That doesn't make it through as it hits Dingle and just slides into the left wing corner. Nice offensive step there by Dingle and Henniger, and the Kings are killed off. The penalty is go change. And he perfectly deflects the puck into the corner. Waiting for it with Switzer. He rims it around the base. He'll go right back over to the other side to Switzer. The last half mark. In behind the base. Tried to center it. But Vandermeer gets in the way of it. And Goche has it. He'll play it up the right hand side. Skating down into the zone of the center. Getting drop pass there. Brassard it over to Dingle. And he has to go off the heel of his stick. McMurchie now spins. Shot. Save made. And holding on is Allen, but again, another nice passing play there by the center. A lot of the point, he's a tough lining, I'll tell you what. He doesn't take much guff for many people. Off the faceoff, Wranglers controlling their own zone. They're going to flip it down the ice, goes all the way down to the right wing corner. Martin on it there, he'll give it to Turk. Turk will go to McMurchie. He goes cross ice, gets it to Dingle, Dingle. Gets poke checked by Brodeur and picking up the puck is Bernhardt. Bernhardt comes down the right wing side. He's got Bertram with it. Gives it to Bertram. Shot to fucking kick save made by Gill as he was able to get the left pad on it. Centering pass, only Shannon King's there. Then it's Goche and he's going to lift it down into the left wing corner. He comes down. Out to take the draw is Henniger. He wins it. Wilson will play it up. Can't get it out. Tucked in momentarily by Huddy. But now the Kings are able to move it down into the Vegas zone. Sadal pushes it deep into the left wing corner. He gets hauled down. Continues to battle, but eventually Switzer is able to pick up the puck and he'll play it up the left side to Lucas Dunnick. And Kasevic makes that on the right side to Huddy. He's over to base. He can't handle the pass. Bounces back to Switzer. He throws it out in front. James Bates has had a very off night tonight. This young man puts more pucks in net to the left point. He dumps it down low. Picked up by Price and he'll play it up the right hand side to Riley. He tries to drop it back to Price but McLeod hustles back and intercepts that. He just dumps it down and in. Power wins it around and behind the net. He gives it to Riley. He'll cross his own blue line and at center right he takes a body check and loses the puck and again that allowed McLeod to play it up through the neutral zone area. Baker gets a change in, and here's James Bates. He comes down the left wing side, puts the brakes on, feeds it out in front. Shot goes into Martin as Gores had a wonderful opportunity. And Derek Martin took that one right in the belly, it looked like, and just went down and held on. So Derek Martin plays net keeper as well. Get down, and he feeds it over, and into the empty net, and Matt it all put this one on ice. As the Santa Kings take a 3-1 lead with the FD net goal with a buck 10 to go. Vegas coach Ryan Mugenhall sends Joe Fallon back in between the pipes. So the Kings look like they're poised to move to 2-1 and one on the season. And a nice play at I. Henniger to feed it over to Sedal. And Sedal makes no mistake and just wires it right into the empty net. Unselfish play there by Rob Henniger. As the puck gets chipped down into the King zone off the faceoff, Vandermeer, he'll rim it around. One minute now to go in the game. 
as they scrum for a buck along the right side. Price picks it up. He plays over the left side to Ross. The end of your sprawls down prevents Ross from getting the shot away, and that allows the Kings to get it up and out into the neutral zone. McMurchie battles for it. Ends up going down, but he pops right back up, and now there's going to be a penalty call here. As Ryan McMurchie gets balled down in the neutral zone, Goche in to take the draw. He wins it, comes back to the point to Wilson, back to Goche, and goes back to Wilson on the right side. Gives it to Goche. He'll move the top of the right circle, takes the shot, plays it down low. Centering pass by Dingle. And Goche ends up slipping up and out of the zone. 24 seconds to go as Wilson will play it up. Broder picks it up at the line for the Rangers. He's just going to fire it down the ice. 15 picks to go. Riley Gill looks for his second straight win. Will have allowed one goal in two games for the rookie. And the puck's going to get lifted down into the Vegas zone as the final second tick off. And that'll do it. You can put it in the column. The Santa Kings get the 3-1 victory here in Las Vegas for their second win of the